Is it okay to say your age? Yes, sure. 40 43 last week. 43 last week. Congratulations. Yes. I'm Thanks. also a March person. Oh, yeah? Yeah. March what? Fourth. Um, the sixth. Okay. There you go. <laughs> so you're, you're 42 years old. You're into your uh, second kind of major leadership position now, yep. running a company. Um, I don't know how long we can say that you've got left leading companies, but maybe let's say 25 years. Let's hope, right? Let's hope 25 years. Um, based on your experience here and, and what led up to it, what are you kind of seeing in terms of legacy? What do you want to leave behind you? Um, I guess, you know, the, one of the big th goals I have here is to really, um, I think we talked about it earlier, but really kind of create the leadership um, where you can create a jazz ensemble, where you can allow people to uh, be empowered to to speak up, to take initiative, um, to be non-hierarchical. Again, it's I am finding, and it's great. I find it ten times harder than leading, where you just tell you know I've got the ideas, let's go make it happen. Um, I find it ten times harder from uh, being vulnerable, being open to people. Um, uh, but, uh, so I guess a legacy I'd love to, I'd love to kind of make a dent in that conversation that it's, it's a viable, uh, maybe even better mm. model as we move forward. Uh, that's one. Because you get some pushback on that too, I think is really interesting. Oh, for sure. Describe that. Um, I, I think that the, the um, and some of it, I mean, most people, if you ask them, oh, do you believe in teams? Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, do you believe in empowerment? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I mean, so everybody loves the, the words, and everybody loves the idea. But when push comes to shove, when the revenues aren't coming in, when, um, or it's a little bit tricky, and you're having it, it the first thing that I use, well, you need to get in there. These are the two things that everybody, that everyone's knee jerk is you need to work 80 hours a week to fix the problem, yeah. and you personally need to fix the problem. Yeah. And, and that's everybody's, and that's fix the problem, but same thing on the other side you need to provide the vision mm -hmm. you need to you know be the one and you know many CEOs do a great job at that and they're happy to take the limelight T to me my role models are people who to use the Jim Collins are the level five leaders they're when it's going well it's everybody else and when it isn't I step up mm -hmm. yeah that's the mm -hmm. leadership you know that it should be a team it should be encouraging the vision even the vision you know, I certainly think a, a CEO or a leader's job is to see mm. out there. But you know, for me, and I, I see, I see lots of things. I see lots of white space out there, and that's my job. But then it's to work with everyone else to make it rich about how do you go after that white space? Because if it's mm. just my ideas, they're you're limited to my ideas. But if it's everybody's ideas, I believe we're going to get a lot further. So the two things I'd love, and you know, I, I still believe. Um, maybe this is because I'm a woman with three children, but you know, I just don't subscribe to you can't have a family, you're going to be a CEO, you're going to be really successful, you have to work 120 hours and never see your children and be on a plane mm -hmm. 24 hours and everybody in your company. I just would love to be part of changing that conversation because I think that's, as a society, that's when we're going to get to a better place is when you can say, we can do amazing things. And I have no less ambitions than all of my forebears who did a great job evidently um, with the old model, but I think it's different now. Mm -hmm. It's changing in medicine, so why can't it change in business? Mm -hmm.